take it to the first now. Hi, I'm Deidre McIntosh, and I'm here to talk to you today, today, about an issue known as loose sphincteritis. You see, some people find that if they wake up in the morning, their sphincter has become so loose that all the poo has fallen clean out of their rectum and stained their favourite bed sheets. This is the problem faced by many of us in many different societies throughout the globe. So today I'm going to tell you how to remedy this. Well, you know how when you tie a string around your finger until it turns purple? Well, if you try this same thing with your bum hole, if your bum hole has become very loose and you're standing your bed sheets, you should be able to pull it down and out like a puckering lips, almost like a cat's bottom. Then take a string and tie it around it to make a tight seal around your rim. Now this is sometimes called rose budding because the nice the rose budding effect it has and because it turns nice shades of pink and purple and sometimes even bright red. So, if you actually like this, it's quite lovely. After a while, it does actually start to smell quite repugnant. Quite repugnant indeed. So, if this isn't working for you, another not so ethical approach is called corking. Now, of course, corking is exactly what you think it is. You take a bottle of sherry and you pop the cork up, drink the bottle, because you'll want to be a little bit drunk for this. So once you're quite inebriated, you take the cork and you put it up your bum. Now, this is very, very funny for many people. Some feel you might have to lube up cork. Lube it up. If you can't find anything suitable, just suck on it a little bit and get it nice and lubricated with your own saliva. Saliva is the perfect lubricant. So once you've put the cork up your bum, and you've found a comfortable position just above your prostate, if you have one, which I don't. Now, of course, this will stop poop falling out of the bum, but the number one problem with this is that how do you poo when you need to? <laughs> of course we've thought of this. So, all you have to do is cover every single orifice on your body including your nose, your mouth, your ears, your penis or vagina, whichever you've got, if you've got both. I sometimes can't even tell what's going on downstairs. God made downstairs a mystery. It should stay that way. So once you've covered up every orifice, you just need to push. Push like you're having a baby. And not just a regular fat baby, a fat, fat baby. Like a Japanese baby. You know those Japanese Chinese fighters? They're very fat and they wear a nappy, so they look like babies anyway. So once you're pushing one of those sumo, I'm not quite sure what country they're from, but they're from Asia, and it's all the same language there, so it's okay. So you push that Vietnamese child out of you, and once you're pushed hard enough, the cock should come out. But, word of warning, you have to make sure that you are either sitting over the toilet at the time, although sometimes outside is safest. Now one time, we pushed so hard, the cock shot out and killed my cat. So, this has just been Deirdre McIntosh, and if you have any more issues with your sphincter or any other questions in life, feel free to email me or comment me through my secretary, Jackson. He's sure to get you. Bring any questions you have straight to me, and I will answer it to the best of my abilities. Thank you, and good night. Mwah. I want that back. That was my kiss. You can go home without a kiss. You weren't listening very well to my speech, and I'm not very happy with that. <clears throat> But I love your shows. I would definitely give them to my daughter. If I had a daughter. But I don't. Will you be my daughter? <laughs> I just need a daughter. I just... There will be no white flag above my... See you next time. And remember, I've been Deirdre McIntosh. Um, question out to you guys. Is there anything, like, embarrassing medical problems that you've ever had. Like one for me, um, it's really embarrassing, but uh, I was born with a hernia. Like you know like old men get when they like lift heavy things. I was born with one of them. Or um, keep it anonymous if you want. But yeah, if you've had any funny issues, comment me or if you, your friend has anybody, your friend, it's like the oh yeah, my friend used to have a vagina. Comment, post a video response, um, alright.
Much love. Mwah. I'm still working on that great sign-off. You know there's that guy on YouTube, and he's like, Phil? And he's like, you've just been filled in. I could work on something like that. Um, this has been Jack Sunitha. You've just been jacked off. <laughs> Highlight of my life, I can tell you.